but it goes back to that cradle that I talked about them developing up here. And all I have them do to add the fake is I say just do this cradle, now add a twitch or body movement, head, and that's all you really need for fake. The key to faking is to have it the exact same motion as when you throw the ball or shoot the ball. It doesn't have to go very far, but that movement from here to here has to be the same. And then all you do is show the body like it's going to come quick, and now you've got enough to make freeze the goalie and then have fakes. So you can teach your kids that. And all I do is I talk, we'll get in the hand here, and I roll it up, we'll turn with the bottom, and it's just a cradle with a slight roll in it. And obviously, I'm going to talk a little bit about shooting. You can telegraph the fake, but not the shot. All that stuff. Drop stepping, again, relation to the body. Uh, a lot of players, it helps develop the concepts that we use later in the offense. So now instead of just passing, standing, maybe going side to side, I'll teach them how to lean in, how they're going to go, and how to use their leg and drive back to get space and throw the ball. Um, just like you would in the game. You know, the ability to come in, quickly dodge back. Um, but it really teaches the young kids, especially, how to use their legs, their body to control themselves a little better. And it comes into play when you start teaching the dodging. So really to you know be able to bend over and push back. It seems easy enough, but it can be difficult to teach. So that's one of the drills I like to do is just step back, gain space so you can pass the ball. Um, I also take it to not just passing it this way. A lot of times under pressure, I'll talk about rolling, getting back, rolling, switching hands to feed the ball. Just things that will happen in a game that you can practice and get more repetition on just in a simple passing drill. So if I'm here, um, a lot of times I'll take two passing partners and put one on defense, and I think I may go into that a little bit, is now you're under pressure a little bit. So you'll have the guy say, over, play me. You'll practice one step, and now I can feed the other way. Or same thing, I can now have pressure, drop back, and feed through the guy. Um, sticks always up flat. Another reason for that is what I talked to touch a little bit, is the ability to pass anywhere in that position without telegraph. So you really don't know where to put your stick. A lot of players will have the habit of getting their stick up like this, and it makes it a lot easier for me to match it, and a lot of the passes get knocked down. But if I bring it back flat, now I can throw it over there, there, either way, and it's much tougher to pick it off. So that's again what I always from the beginning, teach them to start with that flat. And it doesn't mean necessarily hang your stick back. Because a lot of times I can do it keeping that stick right up on my head by just extending it forward a bit. And I've done lots of fun stuff, like, you know, having, make, you know, make it more fun, having learn to bring it down, bring it back, control that stick one hand, just to make it fun. And like, any time they can develop skills and, and a feel for that ball and their stick, it's good. So, as you see on there, I have it going into some one-handed stuff, or I'll use the one hand here, debate somebody so that they lunge to this side so now I can move back to my strong side or bait them here so I can roll back to my strong side and those are some of the things we'll do in the passing um, and then again getting back to the trying to take this to the next level on the move so in your line drills uh, passing across the field, weave, star drill, all that stuff, trying to get the left, right, <coughs> pass the ball, throw it different ways, just to take it more to the next level just by being on the field. I don't know the star drill. Oh, it's, okay, so all it is is um, five spots on the field, and it just adds more, and I'm not a huge fan of star drill, I've done it enough. <laughs> But uh, it's, 
All it is is you're going something like this. And you start here and you go every second pass. Right? So that you can now add two balls. It just adds more peripheral, more confusion, so they have to concentrate more. Because rather than just having a, a line drill where they're just going back and forth here, now they have to know that they've got to pass two to the left, two to the left, two to the left, two to the left, two to the left. And then they have other people running by them. So now they're running with people crossing them, and so they've got to focus on catching and throwing with people. So it just takes a, your basic line drill to the next level. And you can do ground balls, left, right, all that stuff in that. Um, ground balls. I try and focus on hip body positioning, teaching ground balls. First of all, combined with uh, obviously scooping. Um, you know, for me, I, I've got enough marks on my shin, but I always try and talk about protecting the ball with the body and the legs. So every time I go after a ground ball, always stepping it off from whichever way the pressure is coming from. So if it's here, you know, stepping so you can get control and scoop through that ball. Getting down low, bending the knees. But I always try and get the foot to protect that ball. So this guy can't come in this way. Can't come. The only thing is he's do sacrifice the shoe a little bit. Ground balls, I just said, so I just like to teach you know, when I talk about it, getting down, low, powering through, getting up into that position. And I think we're all, you know, ground ball is pretty basic. Um, I also don't always necessarily say that you have to scoop it up the first time. A lot of times, if you're not quite there, move the ball. If you can't get your body into the position to protect it against the opponent, then move the ball so that now your body is in that position. So if I have someone on the side me, and I just go pick it up here, he's going to have the same chance to pick it up or slash me. But if I can step in, I can kick it, or I can tap it, so all of a sudden it's over this way, now the player's on this side, I have much more of an advantage. And the kids, uh, the kids have a lot of fun with that, rather than just going in and picking up, getting checked, picking up, getting checked. They start to understand more that their body has more value than just scooping up the ball. And I also practice hip drive. So I, if two kids are running in, I always talk about drive, stepping across in front of them. They gotta get low so you can drive your hip to drive them off the ball. And I do this a lot with the girls as well because they don't really have any concept of pushing their body control or the power. So it's always, you know, don't just go at the ball as soon as you get at it. You have someone beside you, drive your hip across, get low, scoop the ball. Um, Got any suggestions to keep the ball uh, player from pushing all the time? On the back? Yeah. yeah. I just have a big problem with that. Call it a Well, uh, it seems like everything's a push. Today. Everything's a push. Well, I always talk about the hips, not the upper body. So you're not coming in and pushing, you're coming in with the leg and using this. And I'll, I do for fun, I'll get the kid and I'll have him come up and I'll get my son out and I'll knock him on the ground just with my hip and show him that, you know, the legs have the power to protect that ball and move the guy out of the way. But if I get down like this, he can't move me because of the stance and the protection and how I step and so you don't have to come in and do this to try and get the ball when it's really the power down below. So again, just trying to teach them young. The little things that when you see great ground ball guys, that's what they do. They get in there, they get low, and they drive everybody off and protect kind of with their hips in that area. Yeah, they'll use their upper body, but without that core base, they wouldn't get very many ground balls.